Hello, everybody. My name is meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Wild weather is in the forecast as we head through the late week and into the weekend ahead. Some crippling snow is possible. Blizzard conditions will be possible. And we can have everything from concerns about power to travel to air travel, as well as some significant spring wet, heavy snow loads on roofs across portions of the northern plains. Impacted areas will be the western mountains of the United States, the Sierra Nevada, and all the way into the Bitterroots and parts of Montana. And then we're going to have snow spreading through the northern plains. Wintry weather will whack the northeastern United States as well. And tonight, some strong thunderstorms are causing activity as we glide through our Thursday night. Let's get to the latest on the radar. We're going to start right now with an introduction to what we have going on across the nation at this time. All of the colors that you see on this map, well, they're representative of what we're seeing going on right now with regards to wintry weather. The blue counties from areas near Chicago all the way back into the big sky country of Montana. That there is a winter weather advisory. We have an Alberta clipper working its way through, and right now that's making some snow shower activity in southern parts of North Dakota. Severe thunderstorms in Texas right now. There's a small chance that we could see a few of those, but one of them has a tornado likely tag on it recently. Winter storm watches out in yellow counties in Montana and the northeastern United States, and the red you see in the Sierra Nevada is once again a whack of wintry weather. We're going to go through some of the details of this, but first let's get Get right into the active weather right in the deep south as we look outside of texas wichita falls to dallas fort worth we're seeing a couple of storms drifting in between your area and where we see the boxes here those are severe thunderstorm warnings north of weatherford also in the bowie area right now we do have some strong storms moving out of wichita falls and clicking on the warning here that tag says a tornado is possible there's some rotation showing with that storm so we're going to go ahead and pop that up the 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter hail are the main threat from this storm. It's moving east at 30 miles per hour presently. And again, hail will be that main threat as we work our way through. There could be some very gusty winds as well. I'm going to pull up a uh, local radar here that's a little bit closer to the situation so I could take a look at some of the potential for maybe rotation with this system as it works its way in and toward the northern reaches of Dallas-Fort Worth. If you're joining, I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. I'd love to have your likes on the video, comments. Uh, if you'd like to see something, let me know. I'll try to answer it. This storm is on the outside of the range of that radar. Let's check this one here a little bit closer. Okay, now two things stick out like a sore thumb that you just whacked with a hammer. That is the fact that this storm has this backward C shape. That's called a bowing line segment. When it bows out and bends backwards like that, that means behind it, very gusty winds. So this signature would indicate some very gusty straight line wind potential. And the strongest of the winds tend to be right near the apex of the bow, right here. That is right in the middle of, well, rural portions of Texas. We're talking about places north of Springtown, just off to the west of Paradiso, and it's blowing towards you. It's around this apex of the bow where I drawed my little fancy thing here, my little asterisk. That's where we could have the best chance to see a brief spin-up with this particular storm. Aspen, hello. Good to have you on board. Again, let me know where you're watching from. It says, good evening again, Hutch. Can't wait to see what's in store for Fargo. The next several days, we have wild weather up in the northern plains in Texas. Let's go ahead and well, I'm going to throw out my pencil. And right now we're going to look at the velocity with this storm. This storm relative, now let's go to base velocity. Let's look at that. Now we can see the area of rotation. Here's what we're seeing. What looks like reds next to greens, but it's separated by grays, which is zero velocity. So what that means, we have a large storm that's showing some large scale rotation. As far as tight rotation goes, this storm isn't the customer that's coming through Texas and heading out towards Paradise and Springtown. But what this does show with the bright uh, colors that we see here is very gusty straight line winds. And I can measure those winds up at cloud level that are blowing directly toward the base of the radar, along the radar beam or into the radar beam, we should say. So as I move this in, this is picking up 40, 50 mile per hour winds 
at cloud level, sometimes that mixes down to the ground with the updrafts and downdrafts associated with thunderstorms, so keep that in mind. And again, the winds blowing away from the storm, well, they're not quite as strong there, about 20 to 30 miles per hour. So some strong inbound winds, that's likely from what we call a downdraft, a rear flank downdraft with the storm system. That's going to be blowing through parts of northern Texas, north of Dallas, north of Fort Worth, and just off to the west. So northern parts of the metropolis there could see some uh, interesting weather heading your way. That's a look at what's going on there. I'm going to shift back to the national picture here. So we do have a slight chance of a couple of severe storms tonight in Texas. It doesn't look like a huge outbreak of tornadoes, but some windy thunderstorms with that hail potential will be the main risk. Now, let's get to what's going on in the Dakotas right now. Along the border up there, north to South Dakota, we have a little clipper working its way through. This one's dumped a couple of inches already. It's not going to be a huge snowfall producer. It's moving due east uh, across the South Dakota, North Dakota line is what you're looking at right now and that snow is going to account up to about two to seven inches big deal right what are the big deals what's going on in upstate new york a winter storm watch for later in the week winter storm warnings for the sierra nevada winter storm watches and warnings in montana and a major storm system that we don't even have warnings for yet it's all coming let's get to the european model and show you the big picture first and foremost this model is the one that tends to be a little bit more uh, consistent with its product when we get out just a few days beyond, say, day three or four. So it's very helpful to help us get a little bit better grasp on what's going on. But the storm system entering on the Pacific Northwest right now, that's the big unit. That's going to make its way in and bring a batch of significant weather. Very wet weather in the southeastern United States on Saturday as we go into Saturday. So Friday night, midnight and beyond, it looks wet in the southeastern United States. There could be a strong storm or two. Now, look at the snow blossoming in the northeastern United States. This system is going to bring a heavy punch of snow, and we're talking a foot or more of snow for some there. So so keep that in mind. This storm system could cause some crippling travel in upstate New York and all the way through Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Meanwhile, the storm system is just starting to evolve in the Rocky Mountain West. Here's what happens as we go through Saturday. Light snow develops in the Rockies, the Northern Rockies, and the Sierra Nevada will have already seen some batches of heavy snow. This system blossoms into what could become a flat out winter storm and blizzard in the northern plains heavy bands of snow and as the system lifts northward it's going to bring with it warmer air and it's going to cause a layer of heavy snow to be topped with rain and possibly thunder snow and thunder sleet in the northern plains as it wisps its way through it starts on sunday in north dakota South Dakota and Minnesota. The eastern Dakotas and most of Minnesota will see impactful snow. And I think northern Iowa could see a fair amount of snow, but it will change over to rain, making for a slippery concoction for the northern plains. Now, this could impact air travel. Minneapolis, St. Paul, Fargo's airport, Sioux Falls airport, even Rapid City's airport. Denver, I don't think it's a huge impact for the Denver area as it works its way through on Saturday. The low is a little too far north to bring that good upslope to the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. But if you're up in Wyoming, central northern, expect a chance for some snow. This is a slow mover. It starts Sunday. It's still snowing on Tuesday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, three days of snow. Those are the type of systems in the Northern Plains that deliver a wallop. So we are talking about impacts to livestock for ranchers in the Northern Plains. We're talking about snow load on roofs. We're talking about near blizzard conditions for travelers. And because the track can change and because the models aren't very great with the exact track intensity or bands of heavy snow at this particular stage, we can't get too excited about that, but we're telling people, be very ready to change your travel plans and have fluid plans as that system works its way through. Here's a fast sneak peek as we head toward the holiday. That's right, Easter weekend. This is a look at the timestamp above. Friday, good Friday, snow in the Rocky Mountains, Wyoming, Colorado, and a low pressure system diving out into the northern and central plains once again Friday and Saturday of, well, what many say is the Holy Week as we celebrate the birth. Now, as we take a look, though, the West Coast seeing yet another batch of snow making its way in. 
How much snow are we talking about? Let's take a focus at a couple of different areas. We're going to start with Minnesota. Minnesota first. Hi, Rebecca. Good to have you on board. Ryan as well, both watching from North Dakota and Minnesota. Jackie joining in, Jim as well. And again, if you're joining me from way out there in the United States, let me know what interests you and we'll touch on it. Let's take a look at snowfall potential. We're going to look at this European model first. And as we go through, we'll get a chance to see when the snow falls and where. So there's going to be some snow in upstate parts of, well, let's say Maine as we go through the night tonight. Here comes the Alberta Clipper across the Dakotas with its batch of snow. It looks like we could have some impactful snow in Chicago from that Alberta Clipper as it gets a little moisture uh, up its way from the Central Plains and the Great Lakes. That happens Friday night and into your Saturday morning. Then that system really blossoms as it works its way off to the east. We're talking about a whacking of snow in the northeastern United States. So from upstate New York, look at the little digits on the map here. It's a little hard to see. One foot or more will be possible in the elevated terrain as we get up there uh, in the northeastern United States. So impacts to travel both air, road, and you name it. It will be a Saturday event for you. Look at what's going on in the Sierra Nevada by Saturday. Already some impactful snow, upwards of several inches of snow, and then now Minnesota. Let's take a look at this system, and to do that, I want to zoom in. Let's show you a look at this model's forecast for the Northern Plains once we get into the weekend. Here it comes, boom, starting on Sunday, Monday, and even into Tuesday, the snow continues to pile up. Now, one thing I'll say, these models are are global models. Global models have a big grid and they tend to make the snow area, the, uh, the impact area look big, ginormous. It's not going to happen. We're likely going to see a narrow band of real heavy snow potential with this system though. And because it lasts for three days in some spots, particularly the Eastern Dakotas, then we're going to see some areas with some lofty snow totals, no question about it. It's going to come with east winds and then north winds, and that's going to impact a lot of travel across the area. What we can say is that the chances of great snow uh, over a foot is going to be possible. Even over 18 inches is going to be possible for some. With blizzard conditions, as winds are expected to be sustained in many locations for over 30 to 35 miles per hour and gusts over 40, maybe 50 miles per hour, and that's heading through the weekend Sunday and particularly Monday in the Northern Plains. So that's a look at the potential there. Let me show you the potential in the Sierra Nevada. Our mountains out to the West Coast are going to see some pretty significant snow there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Jolene, good to have you on board from Fargo, North Dakota. Teresa from Crookston, Minnesota. Thanks, uh, Rebecca, for tagging folks out there. I sure do appreciate it. Now let's look from that southwestern part of the United States. And look at when it starts. It's Saturday, first thing in the morning. Uh, they're saying impossible travel across the Sierra Nevada. Feet of snow, over two and three feet of snow in places. And the model concurs that as we go into the day on Monday, so it starts snowing Friday night late all the way through Monday, and we're going to have snowfall potential up there of two to three feet, maybe even a little bit more with gusty winds. Now, in the mountains of Utah, northern near Salt Lake City, we're talking about significant snow there of over four inches possible. And in the western Rockies of Colorado, it's another bonanza for ski uh, locations there with over six inches to a foot of snow for many and at the peaks well certainly we could see more there now what about new york let's check out our neighbors there let's zoom on over to the northeastern united states and well you're going to see some lofty snowfall totals remember these start as we go into the day on friday here it is excuse me saturday saturday upstate new york look at the batch of snow that just enhances when it locks into locks into some of the warmer waters in the Atlantic, in the North Atlantic. Not too much of a problem for Massachusetts, but you get to your neighbors just north of you, upstate New York, all the way through Vermont, New Hampshire, all the way through. Wow, a lot of snow. And many areas being advertised at over a foot of snow, potentially. Again, pay attention to your local National Weather Service offices. They'll dial you into the precise amounts there. That takes care of that part of the nation. Now we're going to sing and dance into the, the North 
Western United States, the Pacific Northwest. And that is where we are expecting to see some impactful snow as well. Uh, let's say Snoqualmie Pass in the mountains outside the Cascades. We're talking about four to 10 inches of snow in some of these areas. And as we go down through the mountains of Bend, Oregon, and Central and Western Oregon, we're expecting three to six inches of wet, heavy snow. But look at Montana. Idaho, places like Missoula and Glacier National Park, five to 10 inches of snow at elevation and good old Jackson, Wyoming has had a heck of a winter out there with some significant snow. That is a look at the snow potential from these storm systems as we go through the next several days. I'm gonna switch this back to a national look because there will be wet weather across the Southeast and this cold air that will spill down behind the storm system rolling through the Northern Plains will begin diving southward. As it does so, it will increase the risk for some strong thunderstorms in the central and southern plains. Now let me show you that briefly as we go back to the Europeans model. Here's tonight's shower and thunder shower activity. That moves off to the southeastern United States. Here's the main event coming out of the Rockies. The cold air starts diving south here. This is Monday in the morning. And as that system taps into some heat and energy of the afternoon, look out. Monday into Tuesday could bring some strong to severe storms to the Southern Plains. And that will continue to drift off to the east as we go through with more storm potential as we go in toward the, well, the holiday weekend at the end of the month as well as we go through Easter. That's a look at the forecast. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. One last look at some of the National Weather Service products that are in place right now. So in the Sierra Nevada, outside the Truckee area, where they have been just ham hammered with a bunch of snow as we've gone through the winter season. Let me show you what the Weather Service says there. Oof does what we say in the Northern Plains. Three feet of snow at higher peaks. Winds 45 miles per hour. Um, and it says travel difficult and expect delays, chain control, gusting, gusting winds. Now in the southern reaches of the Sierra Nevada outside Bakersfield, let's check there. Hi, uh, relatives in the Bakersfield area, expect the winds gusting upwards of 45 miles per hour. Once you get above about 5,000 feet, they're expecting two to three feet of snow. You know, that's not uncommon for the mountains, but it's certainly going to bring some travel impacts there. Now, as we look across Colorado, Wyoming, we're not seeing much in the way of warnings as of yet, but it's very early. The storm doesn't impact those areas until we get later into Saturday and Sunday. No warnings for the main event that will take place in the Dakotas yet. We're letting this little Alberta clipper get through, and then the focus will become one on that as we work our way through. But what we can say is we do have some pretty impressive looks at things, and we're going to take a look at the Weather Prediction Center real quickly to give you an idea across the nation of where the most impactful snow will be. Let me know if you like these products. It's just another way of uh, basically communicating what we expect to happen. Here's day one. Winter weather impacts in red means there's going to be high impact and a high chance of greater than four inches of snow. And this is as we go into the, uh, well, Friday to Saturday. So basically Friday time frame. Here's Saturday. Look at the northeastern United States. Bullseye. And look at the Sierra Nevada. There too, we have a shot at significant and impactful weather. Most most of the rest of the nation, as far as winter weather goes, not so bad. Here's the main event that gets started as we go into, this is Sunday. Sunday, 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 it looks like snow from the eastern plains of Montana through the Dakotas, mainly near the North Dakota, South Dakota line into southern Minnesota. Southern Minnesota. So it starts snowing for one whole day on Sunday, and then it's continuing in the same area uh, as we go into Monday with the heavier snow bands, most likely in Minnesota and the eastern Dakotas. And then as we head into, wow, this is going to be all the way into Monday and through Tuesday morning, it lifts north into Canada. And as it does so, it works its way through the Lake Superior area and northern Minnesota. That's three days of snow in the northern plains. After that, well, things quiet down and we get a little break before the Easter holiday. All right, I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. It's been a pleasure visiting with you. Thanks for checking in to all of you. Eating pizza ranch chicken in Perm, Minnesota, watching Hutch on YouTube. Good to have you on there. I hope it's good chicken. Mm, I like pizza ranch chicken. That's awful fun. Thanks for joining. I do appreciate all the likes on the videos. Share with your friends a uh, link to Hutch's page here so that they can watch as well. Our wild weather in the Northern Plains is going to have impacts nationally as 
we go through the next several days. And we could indeed be talking blizzard conditions in the Northern Plains with impacts to not only road travel, but air travel across the nation. And uh, farmers and ranchers in the Northern Plains are already taking precautions to be prepared for what could be a very intense storm system. Have a wonderful Thursday evening. Again, meteorologist Hutch Johnson for now. Check out some of my other videos right here on my page. And I hope to see you back again real soon. Take care.